All right, team, in this episode, we're going to be talking about camps and showcases and how to best navigate this, how to find the best ones and avoid the ones that are a waste of time, money, and energy, because there's a lot of those out there as well, and just how to get noticed at these camps, how to get some feedback at these camps and showcases. That can be super helpful, right? Have you ever gone to a camp or a showcase and you walk away and you're just don't really know if you got anything out of it or you got any feedback uh, from that. So we're going to talk how to best navigate that approach as we go. And again, just setting ourselves up for success because this time of year, you see more camps and more showcases typically, definitely more camps than any other time of the year. And there's a reason for that. Uh, and we're actually going to get into that. So let's first talk about showcases okay we are in september september uh, 14th to be exact of this recording and which means we are in the contact period we're in the contact period for about another three weeks and what does that mean okay the reason why you only want to go to showcases in the contact period is because actually college coaches can be there if you go to a showcase outside of the contact period which starts October 9th, we go into the quiet period, and college coaches cannot be at showcases off their campus, okay? So they're, if you go to a showcase or you're looking at a showcase in late October, uh, November, December, January, uh, February, no college coaches are going to be there. So if you're going for recruiting purposes and you're not going to uh, just get improvements, maybe you're going for updated metrics or video, that's perfectly fine. But if you're going to get exposure, don't go because there's not going to be any college coaches. There's not going to be any Division One coaches there, and there's not going to be any Division Two coaches there. Okay, so we're in this contact. It's a short little window here, and not all college coaches are out at this time because all the players are back on the campus. They're practicing, etc., so usually college camps are best. Now the thing is, you can go to a college camp during the quiet period because college coaches can watch you on their campus and their campus only. It's these weird NCAA rules. So if you're looking at a, a camp, uh, it could be really any time. There's some camps during the contact period. There's some camps during the quiet period. But let's go back to showcase, okay? Showcases are basically a third party of a host or organization that is going to help you showcase and bring college coaches in so they can evaluate you see if they want to start the recruiting process with you and what are some good showcases uh, to look at or as far as features uh, to look at and make sure you're going to the right ones. One, for a showcase, make sure college coaches are actually going to be there. If you're going to just a showcase and you don't know if any college coaches are going to be there, I would not recommend going because there's probably not going to be any college showcase or college coaches there. Now, some of these uh, some of these organizations will let you know these college coaches are going to be there and preferably you want to know the coaches that are going to be there because you want the impact coaches that are actually involved in the recruiting usually that's the head coach or the top two assistants or one of the assistants that actually deals with recruiting the recruiting coordinator there's other times there's a volunteer there and honestly the volunteers there really just to make money because they don't make any money really at all so they're not really there for recruiting purposes and they're not usually heavily involved in recruiting okay so we have that so preferably know which uh, coaches are going to be there uh, sometimes you do sometimes you don't so it's a little bit of the risk but as long as you know the schools that are going to be there that's helpful and the good showcases honestly the good showcases let you know which coaches are going to be there so uh, look out for um, those and then preferably you want a two-day event all right preferably if you have a one-day showcase that it doesn't mean you don't totally write it off but you want to have some playing time you want to have games right have you ever been to a showcase and all you do is you hit a little bit it's called a pro style a workout you do a pro style workout so if you're a position player you hit you field and you run okay and that's it <laughs> I mean how are you supposed to get a true evaluation of your talent and your game performance if you're not playing any games I totally understand the pro style side that is one element of it but if you're going to a showcase that only does okay pro style you're only getting one element they're not actually seeing you play a game so make sure you go to a camp and showcase that actually you're actually playing games and if they're not telling you that you're playing games you're probably not going to play games okay you're probably just going to do pro style so look for those elements of so camps and showcases look for 
hey, playing games. You're going to do a pro style. Uh, most all of these camps and showcases do pro styles, but you want to you want to play games because that's a big factor involved to this. See your game performance. Uh, one big thing that I talk about is I was never a big metrics guy, right? In pro styles, that's really what it is. It's your metrics, and they get to see your actions and your hands and all that, your athleticism. Uh, but uh, they don't get to see any of your game performance. I was a big gamer. I was called, you know, there's players that are like, hey, he shows up in the game and he really performs. That's kind of who I was. Um, metrics were very above average, but now that didn't really stand out. Um, and uh, I would even some of my metrics were very just average too. So that's, I just want to emphasize when you look at a camper showcase to make sure that you're playing games or or a game okay uh so just a real quick recap if you're going to a showcase make sure it's during the contact period uh which is all the way until october 9th then we get in the quiet period and then college coaches cannot leave their campus to come watch you play they only could watch you on their campus which means their camp so if, just for example if it's the university of florida you could go to university of florida camp and they could talk to you and watch you but they can't leave their campus and go out and watch you at a tournament okay um speaking of tournaments and travel ball usually this time it's really overrated frankly you guys might have heard me say this but travel ball and tournaments in the fall specifically and even some in the summer are overrated uh because you don't know who's out watching you don't know who's coming to watch you play you don't know if college coaches are there um etc but at camps and showcases you do know especially the good ones okay now what should you be doing uh before the camp you should be sending uh emails to college coaches two to three days or the week prior to the camp i prefer really like to touch up to as close to the camp to be front of mind short and sweet not a long email just saying coach hey really look forward to playing in front of you at your camp or at the showcase um, and here is uh, some updated video if you haven't introduced yourself yet uh, make sure of course you introduce yourself but again short and sweet have your contact information there have your highlight video in there as well that is uh, really important and then okay during camp, what can you be doing? What are these college coaches looking for? So just three quick things. I've done other videos about this, but you want to play loose, all right, of course. You want to play fast and aggressive. Coaches want fast and aggressive. Do not play tentatively. Do not play or showcase uh, uh, fearing to fail. And that's, of course, a lot easier said than done. But these coaches know you're going to fail uh, in the game of baseball. It's just part of it. You do it more than anything else in the game. Okay? You fail. And uh, so don't play. Don't play with tension. Don't play like, oh, man, I have to be perfect here because you're not going to be perfect. And these coaches know you're not going to be perfect. So why would you expect to be perfect? Don't try to be perfect. You fail and fail fast, fail hard. So meaning go out there and be aggressive, running around, diving, uh, taking hacks. Um, I like to call it controlled aggression. Aggression, controlled aggression with your swing, controlled aggression with your hey, your arm motion, as long as we're filling it up in the strike zone. And pitchers, same thing. Be loose, all right? Be loose, be repeatable with your mechanics, and be aggressive in the zone. Be aggressive and attack hitters. The coaches don't want to see you walk players, all right? So find a hey, find your element and your balance of when you are um of course throwing velocity and strikes you want to find the balance of both like if you're playing in the game hey you want to fill up the zone and then maybe when you get ahead or you're trying to go a little up in the zone hey let it loose right there let your velo loose bullpen fill up the zone with strikes um preferably get it going get your velo going and then fill it up as we go so um it, that's that's a big element of it of it too as we go into this uh playing at the showcase then when you are deering hey be interactive with the coaches you don't have to say a lot but introduce yourself and uh, let coach coach know coach i would love to hear any feedback that you have to help me with my game because feedback helps you with your game um and then post camp send in an email one to two days after the camp thanking them and uh and highlighting maybe anything that you did that you liked um and asking them if they have any feedback uh for you so to help improve your game or if there's any possibilities on uh the roster or in the future as we go so uh hopefully this helps you let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments camps and showcases that's why camps are so big now because 
college coaches were in the quiet period for a long time. We won't be back into the contact period until March 1 of 2023. So they can only watch players at their camps, especially when we get back in October 9th. Okay, so that's why these camps are popping up. And that's why uh, until something changes, this is uh, will continue to be the case. And they're good. All right. Uh, look for camps that are at your match. Look for camps that are uh, at your skill level. Um, you know, there's some players that want to go to Vanderbilt. That's that's okay. There's nothing like wrong with that. Um, but if you're not a Vanderbilt player, like if you're going into your senior year and you throw 82 miles an hour and you're a right-handed pitcher, you're not going to get recruited for Vanderbilt. That's just part of my job is to be honest with you guys, all right? That you're setting yourselves up for failure. Look for schools, okay, that are in that range of you. And then you can do uh, this fall, a lot of colleges are playing games. Uh, you can look on their schedule on their website and go watch players. Go see if you compare all of that. So my uh, my tangent is over. If you, again, if you have any questions, uh, go on and uh, comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe here uh, as as we go through this. I put out a weekly video um, going through just helping you with the recruiting process. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.